What's going on, VC? It's Craig, and I am here to shoot a VC LT video of Final Community Love Trade. A little bit of terrain involved. I don't know how I got here. I don't know. <laughs> Either way, uh, did a trade with my big brother LJ, Biosite One. Uh, everybody here in the Vinyl community knows who the fuck LJ is. So, uh, first things first, VC chair. And what's on in the background? Six greatest hits. Why the hell not? Played a bunch of sticks at work today, so I figured, eh, why not some sticks in the background for my video? So, hope everybody's doing well, staying warm. I know uh, everybody out LJ's way, uh, Robin Boston, uh, shit, who else is all out that way? Billy Creone, I know all you guys that are out up New England way and shit like that, getting blasted with snow. Getting the lake effect here, since I'm only a couple hours from Lake Michigan, so get blasted with that too. So, it's fucking cold. Give it a week and it's supposed to be like up to 40. What in the fuck is going on? I have no clue. So, anyway, back to what what we're doing here. So, uh, did a trade with my brother LJ. Gotta love him. Uh, he actually hit me up right after I posted uh, those 8-track videos back in the uh, was that mid to late December, something like that? It was immediately like, dude, we gotta do a trade. I got a list here already of stuff I'm interested in. Let me know what you think. And at first I'm kinda like, man, I just got these. I'm like, fuck. Oh man, I don't wanna give up on these. Like, it's hard enough to find good eight tracks, but then I started looking at the list and I'm like, well he's not asking for like the you know, like the stuff that I was like really excited about, you know, the Zeppelin, you know, the stone stuff, you know, etc. You know, he was asking for more stuff that's up his alley, and I'm kind of like, eh. Mo and pretty much all of them that I sent over to him, I already have on vinyl, CD, cassette, whatever, so I feel like I'd be greedy with the, uh, you know, with the A-tracks and stuff, and plus, I was like, all right, you know, I'll do it, and he started throwing out some stuff at me that I'm like, you know, this is, this is a worthwhile trade, like, you know, we're not going for, like, monetary value, like, okay, I'm sending you uh, an a track that's worth 10 bucks, all right, I want an album that's at least, you know, matching that price. Like, no. I only paid, I think, right around a dollar or so, let me factor out the math, for each of these. So, we're not trying to match dollar for dollar or anything, we're just matching, you know, like, number of items and throwing in a few surprises and just sending them off. And, uh, hopefully his should be there in the next couple of days. So everybody keep an eye out for that and see what I sent him. Threw a couple of cool surprises in there. One that I know he'll be really surprised for. Hopefully, hopefully. Don't know if you have it yet. But um, he threw a couple in my way. Um, both cassettes and vinyl. Stuff we traded. For me at least. Um, cassette wise, you know what? Uh, vinyl surprises. Uh, so I, I'll just throw those in real quick. Uh, he sent me News of the World by Queen and uh, A Trick of the Tale by Genesis. Both of which I already had. Uh, was able to upgrade on the vinyl on News of the World. It was, they were both about neck and neck, but his was just a little bit better, so switched them out. Uh, the copy that he sent me of A Trick of the Tail, nice condition copy. Uh, mine's a near mint, so I got no need to upgrade. So those will be going in the trade pile. I'll do a trade video probably sometime in February, maybe, uh, depending on what I pick up from the record show that I'm going to in a few weeks. And then I'll go through the collection and everything, and I'll put a whole video together that is strictly trade stuff. So, um, be on the lookout for that. Uh, on to what he sent. I know we're fucking sidetracking here. Cassettes. Uh, we'll go with the surprise one first. Uh, surprise was uh, Alias. Self-titled from 1990. Oh no, what record company is this? EMI. Okay. Nice, nice album. Um, how do I, uh, how do I describe this? Like, uh, AOR, like that big arena rock sound, very power ballady. Uh, I mean, let me read off some of the titles to you. Uh, Waiting for love. After all the love is gone. Uh, more than words can say. True emotion. Stuff like that. I mean. It, it was worth the listen, you know, like I, I popped on side one last night and listened to it. And, uh, 
very, very arena rock. And if this would have came out a few years earlier, it probably would have done better, you know? Like, and maybe if it was promoted better and stuff like that, I mean, it's definitely, definitely cool to have, and I'll keep it in the collection, unless somebody out there is dying to find this, and I will send it your way, no problem. But it'll it'll definitely stay in the collection. And I mean, I do have albums that you know sound like that and are very arena rock and got that sort of power ballad ish to them. It was worth it. Thank you, LJ. You know I love you, brother. But anyway, on to the killer shit. So uh, first one up, band I obviously collect a lot of. You can tell I like them. I'm wearing their T-shirt right now. <laughs> Fly on the Wall by ACDC. Did not have this. I am stoked to finally have it on cassette. One that I just don't ever see. I'm pretty close to completing ACDC on cassette. I'm gonna look at the wall. Eh, missing a few here and there. Not a lot. Eh, kind of feels like a lot when I start looking at it. Eh, we're all right. But if anybody's interested and you got some ACDC you wanna trade, uh, Especially on cassette. Vinyl, there's only a few things I need on vinyl left. So, But if you got any ACDC you want to trade or send my way, let me know. And the creme de la creme on the cassettes. Three from. They're getting inducted into the Rock and Roll Hall of Fame, finally. Rush. Oh, yeah. So hard to find Rush on cassette, man. Especially around here. I, I know LJ said the same, so. I was fucking stoked. And if you saw my last update, I did good on the rush, so this, so stoked. First one, 2112, a later issue on a clear cassette. Stoked to have this, I actually picked up a copy uh, last summer and got about halfway into side one and it just starts warbling and then it just cuts out completely and jumps to the other side. So I had it in one of my automatic decks where I can just switch sides and continuous play and all that shit. And I'm like, what in the fuck? Did it in both decks. Tape was fucked. So, glad to finally have 2112 on cassette. And another one here, A Farewell to Kings, which needed a little uh, Wales Hospital need. My last name is Wales, by the way, sorry. Probably wonder what the fuck, Wales? Welsh? What the fuck? Yeah, sorry, it's my last name. Uh, needed a pressure pad replacement and whatnot, but got the work done. Plays great. And. Man, I, uh, God, oh, why couldn't this be vinyl? Counterparts by Rush. Very, very cool. I, I love this album. This is a great, great album. And yet again, if you have not seen the uh, VCLT that Mr. Hall of Fame, myself, and a group of others did for, uh, for LJ and sent him a copy of that album, the look on your face is priceless. I think... Oh man, almost brought tears to my eyes. Very, very cool. I was very happy to see that. So. But I know I've already told you that in text and fucking email, so I don't need to go on anymore. Anyway, onto the vinyl now. Here's, here's what was really, really cool. Uh, these all in really nice shape. Some of the covers vary, but like I said, we weren't matching dollar for dollar or anything. We were just, hey, do you need this? Hey, do you need that? Great. Send it on over. So, one I've been missing, Fly on the Wall by ACDC. Definitely got my, covered two of my bases for this album, in this, uh, in this trade. Great, great to have that on vinyl. Only a few more I need in the collection, so, very excited. One that I've had on, this is one I've had on CD and not found on vinyl, Wild Planet by the B-52s. Very, very happy to have this. I was so stoked when he said, oh, by the way, I have a copy of this. Do you need it? Yes. You just don't see a lot of B-52s around here. Like, I found a copy of the self-titled a few weeks ago. So stoked. Picked it up. Put it in my stack. I was like, all right, I think I'm going to, you know, pick this up. I really, I think I had a stack of a couple of things, and then I ended up putting everything away so I could buy that back in the USA reissue. But, um, took, you know, I kind of glanced at it. I was like, all right, I'm cool. And then as I was kind of turning a corner and thinking about it, I was like, I need to look at that a little bit more. Pull it out, scratched all fuck, like on one little spot that I just did, happened to not see. And I'm like, fuck this, no, I can't buy it. And it, sad, sad moment because I've been looking for that album. And the only one that I've had up until this point was Mesopotamia. 
and that was hell to find in near mint shape for only three bucks too. But glad to finally have Wild Planet. Thanks, brother. Oh man, Pleasure One by Heaven Seventeen. Anybody who's not familiar with Heaven Seventeen, uh, Martin Ware, who was uh, original member of the Human League, pre uh, Human League Dare. So pre mainstream Human League then. So, uh, reproduction and travel log. Yeah. Very good albums, by the way. And if you're a Human League fan, check those albums out because those are fucking awesome. Love them. All right. I just, I just gotta say this right off the bat. Please save all your hate mail and what the hell you didn't have this comments for the end of the video. Just, just settle down. Sit down in your chair and just settle down. I have had to pass on so many copies of this over the years between eBay and like losing auctions because it's just went for ridiculous amounts of money for ant eh, copies. And then I've seen a few in the wild that they were just overpriced and just, or they were not the condition. Like, I mean, I found a copy that was priced at like $30, but it had a deep scratch going through the first song. I'm like, do you not pay attention when you price stuff? Like, this one. Because of that scratch, needs to go right in your bargain bin. Plain and simple. Like, you don't charge $30 on an album that is of this stature and have a huge deep scratch and not notice it. Like, that's just, that really pissed me off, but I didn't say anything. So it's like, you know what? He was already cutting me a huge deal on the day. I'm not going to say anything. But either way, I didn't pick it up. So, a sad omission in my collection. It's finally been resurrected. Thank you to my big brother, LJ. Wish you were here by Pink Floyd. Uh, just some um, creasing here on the cover and whatnot, but I mean, clean, minor, minor ring wear, and the vinyl itself, in just awesome shape. Very, very nice shape. I was so, so stoked that when he, when he said, hey, I have a copy of this, dude, you do not know how I had to type really, really quick, be like, don't let it go, I want it. So, very, very stoked to have that one. <sighs> Finally. Alright, and on to the final two, which, like I said, bear in mind, we weren't going on condition. He just said, hey, they'll make great filler copies, but I have them, you know, they're yours if you want them. Yes, yes, I want them. So, I've made up my mission of 2013 to collect all the rest of the kits that I need, which is a pretty good amount. Most of the time when I see them around here, they're either overpriced and in shitty condition, or they're in just shitty condition, or they're just overpriced. Like, really. Like, for instance, I was watching a, a near mint first press of uh, Destroyer. Still in the shrink, watching that on eBay uh, this past week. And I was like, okay, well, I need an upgrade on mine. Mine's, mine I got for free. It's original press. It's in good shape. Like, I mean, it's playable, decent copy. I'm not going to complain, but to have a near mint copy, yeah, fuck yeah, and especially if I can get it for a decent, decent price, fuck yeah. Um, so I kind of forgot to watch it, and then I ended up seeing that it ended, and I was like, ah, oh, fuck, all right, let's see how much it went for. Fifty-six fucking dollars. Fifty-six dollars. That's not even include shipping. That would have been sixty dollars. Yeah, because I had four dollars shipping on there. Over sixty dollars for a copy of Destroyer. I love that album to death. I have it on all four formats that I collect, but Jesus Christ, I don't love it enough to spend 60 bucks. For Christ's sake, who has the money to be throwing around for, for that? If you have that kind of money, send some my way, please. Jesus Christ, that was... I think I ranted about that for like 10 minutes straight. Ugh. Whatever. So, on to what my brother LJ sent me. Copy of Hotter Than Hell. Cover's definitely seen better days, but the vinyl is in some beautiful shape. Huh. Some hair, some hairline scratches and whatnot, but not enough to, uh, you know, affect the playing to be like, oh my god, I can't listen to this. All I hear is skips, pops, and crackles. Ugh. Very, very happy to have this. And once I put it in a sleeve, it won't be any big issue at all. And finally, Rock and Roll Over, one of my personal favorites. Great, great album. Spun this one last night. He was like, hey, there's going to be, you know, some surface noise, but hey, crank the volume. 
you'll be all set. Did that. Cranked it and it sounded fucking killer. So, very, very happy. So on that note, that concludes the trade. Um, thank you everybody for watching. I want to say thank you to all of my subscribers, new and old. Love all you guys. Uh, gonna reiterate again, make sure to get your pictures into uh, John Punk Texas at record shelves at yahoo.com. Get involved, man. VC yearbook 2013. Let's make it happen. So, on that note, I've got some other cool videos to shoot in the upcoming days. Uh, hopefully, a really cool dig. Um, haven't heard back from the guy yet, but uh, hopefully, a Craigslist dig that might produce some really cool stuff. And uh, Music Room Tour will be coming soon. A whole bunch of other killer shit. So, on that note, I will catch you guys in the next video. Peace.